So hi y'all Bitcoin day traders and welcome back to the Bitcoin day trader channel and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to install BTC recover. I have done this before in another video but I still get a lot of questions of you guys. Maybe I did something wrong. Today I thought it would be cool to just uninstall Python. I uninstalled everything that's even a little bit connected with this program so we have to do it all over again. So that's what we're gonna do today. Install BTC recover from scratch. First, you gotta know that BTC Recover requires a lot of programs to fully function. BTC Recover requires you to have installed Python 2.7, the Microsoft Visual Studio C++ for Python 2.7, the Microsoft Visual Redistributable. Wow, that's a weird word for Visual Studio. PyWin32, PyCrypto2.7, Libsodium, PyOpenCL, and we're almost there. And after that, we're gonna install CoinCurve and Protobuf. So that's a big list of things that is necessary to have BTC Recover fully functional. We're gonna use Google mainly to find all these programs. Okay, so let's start collecting all the programs that we need. So let's start with Python 2.7.14. Just go to this website, click here, search here for the best installation. I'm gonna go for a 64-bit, because my system is 64-bit, and probably your system too. So download it and save it on your desktop. The next program. So search for BTC Recover GitHub, go to the GitHub, and press this green button here, just like in the other tutorials. Download the zip file and save it on your desktop. Next program that we need. We need to download the Microsoft Visual Studio. So let's go to Google again. So search for Microsoft Visual Studio for Python 2.7. Go to the Microsoft website, click on the red download, save it on our desktop. Okay, next program we are supposed to download. So it's a, it's a big list, but we're trying to do it as fast as possible. And we need to search for Microsoft Visuals Redistributable for Visual Studio. Uh, Port Microsoft. Ah, this is the one. I've been sent to a Dutch website, but be sure to find this program, the Visual C++ Studio 2017 on the Microsoft website. What else do we need to download? So it's a big list, like I told you guys. Go back to Google, search PyWin32 Source Forge. You need to click on the build 221. If you're on this website, search for build 221. We need to download it for Python 2.7 because that's the Python that we use. So search for PY27 here. So it just takes a while, man. Save it. We need to have PyCrypto from VoidSpace. Search for PyCrypto 2.6 from VoidSpace. Go to the VoidSpace website and scroll down and search for PyCrypto 2.7 64-bits. You see PyCrypto 2.6, that's the version, but we need it for Python 2.7. So be sure to click this one or else it won't work. And let's download that to our desktop. We're almost there with the downloads. This is all preparation what we're doing now. It's all preparation. So go back to Google. We need a lot of things, you see? We need to Google for the Lipsodium releases. Go to the index of Lipsodium slash releases. You see this big list I've used and it was recommended by the website of VTC Recover. They linked it to this one, Lipsodium 1.0.13. You need to have that one. So be sure to click the right one and save it to our desktop. The final and last thing we need to download before we can start installing all this stuff is we need PyOpenCL. So let's go back to Google and search for PyOpenCL. 2017.2 let me check so you need to go to this website this pi pi python org and you see here in the dark screen g golke windows binaries we need to click that and then we get to this website i think it will always send you to the right direction and if it is not sending you to the right direction you need to use the control f for finding on the website because it's a huge website you need to find for PyOpenCL, and then you get to this list as you see so we need to download PyOpenCL 2017.2 so that's this list and we need to have it for python 2.7 we just need this one we have a 64-bit system we have 64-bit python it is important that if you're in 
install Python, it's 64-bit that you do this all in 64-bit, obviously. So let's download this wheel file, wheel, WHL, save it on our desktop. At the moment, we have downloaded everything that we need. So now we can stop on the internet. I've listed it all here, what we need, and we're just gonna install it one by one. Always start with the installation of Python. That's the first thing we need, and then everything is gonna be an upgrade for Python. So let's run it. Just click next. Be sure to choose Python 2.7 because everything in this tutorial will be built upon Python 2.7. So don't change anything here. Click next, click next, click next, click yes, and install the stuff. It's just like normal installations. You guys know how to do this. And in the meantime, what you can do is unzip the BTC recover file. And you can unzip the Lipsodium. Can't you do it any faster, computer? Nah, my computer isn't that fast. I'm gonna put my C drive here on the right of the screen. And here we have Python 2.7. Second step, send BTC recover just to your C drive. In the meantime, we can install VC, this Virtual Studio compiler package for Python 2.7 that we downloaded. Accept the license, click install, and wait for it to be installed. And where did the sun go? I look very blue in this screen. Then we can install the other executable, the distributable for Visual Studio that we've just downloaded. So agree with the license terms, press install. When we have done this, we have set it up the way we are supposed to set it up. It's better to choose for a 64-bit installation of everything than a 32-bit installation because it makes the process approximately 35% faster. So let's go to PyWin and install that. And here you see it's searching for the Python package, but that's all okay, so press next. Man, it's getting darker. Am I getting darker? A couple of minutes ago the sun was shining a little bit and now it's getting dark again. So excuse me for being darker in this video and you're not usually used to that because usually I have a light in the back. So next program, PyCrypto 2.6. Install it, run it, click next and wait. And we're almost there you guys. Let's unzip the Lipsodium file. And then you get three little folders. We need to go to the 64-bit folder. So go to the x64. Open it. Go to releases. Go to version 141. Go to dynamic. And here you see Lipsodium.dll. And we need that in our Python 2.7 folder. Copy this, the DLL, press and hold control. You can even move it, but I'm just gonna copy it and copy it to the Python 2.7 directory. And now we have to open the scripts folder. We have to place that pyopencl file that we have downloaded. That's the pyopencl 2017 blah, 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 with a strange long name. Don't adjust the name, just copy here. So have this file in Python scripts. Okay, so now we're ready to pip install everything that we need. So now we're getting to command prompt. So go to your start and press CMD to open command prompt. Click this one here, cmd.exe. And then you get a black screen. Let's start with a pip installation of Lipsodium. You need to type cd for change directory, space. Uh, we need to go to our C drive, double dot, slash, python, to seven slash scripts. Press enter. And as you see, where we are now is C double dot Python 27 scripts. So what this means is the directory, and as you see here, local disk C Python 2.7 scripts. So we're in the same directory. And within this directory, we need to pip install pylib script. Py library script. Pylib script. Enter. Now it's gonna pip install things. And as you see, it's gonna download some stuff, it's gonna run some stuff, successfully installed. Nice, we have installed the pylib script. The next thing we have to install is a harder one to install. So you can press the arrow up and then you get previously typed things, as you see, arrow up, down. Let's remove pylib script. And now we have to install this file here, this long name. And it's not fun to do, but we need to write it down here, the same name as this file. So write down pi open cl i'm gonna adjust my screen a little bit dash 2017.2 plus cl12 minus cp27 minus cp27m minus win underscore amd 64.whl so did i write it correct enter processing collecting yeah, yeah, yeah. As you see, we're now installing this PyOpenCL. 
and we're doing that with that package that we just downloaded. So there are all sorts of things happening right now. There is a setup being installed and we're almost there. There are just two more things to install. It's just two more things and then we're finished with the installation for BTC recovery. Recover. I'm sorry. And these other things are pip installs too. Not as hard as this one. Okay, so successfully installed it. And now we need to install coin curve. Arrow up. Let's remove this and pip install coin curve equals equals 5.2.0 space pi sh h a free enter and now it's collecting it installing it okay so that one is installed and now the last one the google proto buff let me scroll a little bit down we need to pip install proto buff enter collecting proto buff if i am correct we have installed everything we need to use the btc recover now we can use btc recover I hope this video was very informational for you guys. I hope this video would help you out installing BTC Recover. If this was a useful video for you guys, be sure to like this video. If you would like to, you can subscribe to my channel and I post videos every once in a while. Be sure to check them out. And as always, thanks you guys for watching and see you guys next time.